Hello, Cesar, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, how are you? How's everything? Como vamos? Um, excellent. Excellent, okay, perfect. Hello, Virginia, how are you? How are you, teacher? Hello, I'm fine, you? So, so happy. <laughs> excellent. Happy. Happy, great. Okay, so we're going to wait for a moment. Um, we're waiting for your classmates. Esperamos ahí un ratito por los compañeros. Hello, Luis. How are you, Luis? How's everything, Hello. Luis? Very fine. Good. What are you doing? I can see you. No lo veo, Luis. Solo veo una I de ahí de... No sé. No es una L. Una L. Ahorita me estoy listando, teacher. Okay, voy. don't worry. Perfect. Okay. Um, let me see. Bueno, ya que ustedes ya conectaron, vamos a hacer un poquito, vamos a checar aquí cómo vamos con las actividades que hemos realizado hasta el momento. Yo creo que ya todos, este, sí, sabe, ¿verdad? Que usted ya completó la mayor parte de los trabajos. Yes. Virginia, ¿cómo vamos? Sin embargo, la región. De... Donde yo he entrado, teacher, este, me sale completado. Ya lo. No, no mm -hmm. sé cómo le aparece a usted. Muy bien, es que yo estuve checando hoy. Sí, este, algunos de ustedes, la mayoría, prácticamente la mayoría ya avanzaron bastante. Solamente habrían quizás algunas, algunas actividades pendientes para que algunos les suba ahí su porcentaje. Vamos a checar acá. Hello, Wilfredo. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Nice to see you. Ok, estamos hablando aquí un poco con los eh, compañeros de eh, cómo vamos en su progreso y cómo van sus avances. Entonces, la mayoría pues ya cubrió. Vamos hasta el Homework 4 acá. Sí. Quizás solamente habría que checar algunos, algunos que les hacen falta. Pero de ahí la mayoría vamos bien. Vamos a, vamos a checar el de Virginia. Eh, Virginia, sí, y eh, Virginia. Vamos bien. Solamente nos hace falta esta parte que es de. Ah, el examen. El examen, Virginia, acá. El examen me hace falta. Ajá, el examen de la segunda semana. Mm, vaya. Uh -huh. El examen de la segunda semana. Y el último veo que ya lo terminó. Me okay. quedo desde entonces. Sí, entonces aprovechemos cuando si ya terminamos toda esta parte, aprovechemos a trabajar siempre en el manual. Recuerden, el, Wilfredo, ah, dígame, Wilfredo. El examen último es, eh, es igual que, que las prácticas anteriores. El examen, no. Eh, bueno, son, o sea, son ejercicios retomados también, algunos sí pueden ser ejercicios retomados. Ah, no, me refiero a que lo vamos a hacer ahí, no, no es que lo vamos a hacer así en clase. También, yo considero que algunas actividades, o sea, algunas actividades sí son tomadas de acá, pero también vamos a ver si les pasamos uno así también en, durante la clase, pero por el momento trabajen en esta parte, que se tiene ah. que estar completa. Ajá. Igual, este, las actividades que a veces les asigno, traten de enviarlas siempre, ¿verdad? Los audios, las conversaciones. Estamos trabajando en esas partes. Uh -huh. Dígame, Wilfred. Ok, teacher, gracias. Ok. Bien, entonces nada más ahí se los muestro para que se pongan ahí al día. Si les hace falta una, pueden mejorar. Este, por ejemplo, bueno, acá no, aquí le hace falta ahí. Pero pueden mejorar, pueden ir mejorando algunas actividades. Si el porcentaje quedó bajo, por ejemplo, acá Mirna puede mejor, seguir mejorando. Está bien, pero puede mejorar todavía. 
Okay. Bien, um, veamos, continuamos entonces. Yo como voy, teacher, disculpe, no lo alcancé a ver. Um, Luis, Luis, ¿verdad? Wilfredo. Will. No, Luis. Luis. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver, Luis. ¿Dónde está Luis? Luis Alberto. Acá ya lo encontré. Vaya, por acá nos hace falta la semana 2, la actividad de la semana. No, perdón, homework 4. Homework 4. Aquí está Luis. Este es el 3, este es el 4, este es el midterm. No hace el promedio de, los, de las tareas. Okay. Acá lo puedo mejorar. Nos hace falta esta parte de acá. Esta. Esta. Vamos a ver qué número es. Es el 4. Sí, pero eso todavía no, eso todavía no lo hemos cubierto. Todavía tenemos tiempo, Luis. Vamos, déjame regresar acá atrás. Este y este se pueden mejorar todavía, Luis. Y pues el, el examen final, es el, tienen tiempo todavía. Tenemos hasta el 30, si no me equivoco, para terminar. Entonces, ahorita vamos en cuenta regresiva. Quiere decir que el día 30, el día 30 ya tendríamos que tener ahí este completado. La cuestión es la siguiente, que me parece que se cierra, la, se cierra o se archiva este, este curso el día 30. Tenemos que ver la programación nuevamente. Ya prácticamente solo tendríamos estos días. Permítanme revisar aquí cuándo se va a cerrar la plataforma. A ver, me dice acá. Fechas, acá tendría que estar. Sí, el 30. Entonces será archivado, finalización del curso. Después de esta fecha, el contenido del curso es archivado, ya no les va a aparecer ahí. Entonces, pongámonos al día, tenemos el día de hoy, viernes, sábado y el domingo hasta la medianoche. Ya después de esta fecha, sí, ya, ya no van a poder acceder a él, a la, al módulo. Después les va a aparecer el siguiente, el 2. Pero, pero ahorita sí, ya, vamos en cuenta regresiva. Son los últimos días sí. ya del módulo. Díganme. El examen lo tenemos que terminar para antes del sábado también. Sí, voy a, voy a verificar eso del examen para eh, tratar de ayudarles, para que ustedes, si hay alguna duda, apoyarles con eso también. A ver, algunos ya les terminaron, pero vamos a checar mañana eso. Gracias, teacher. Uh -huh. Ok, perfect. Um, welcome, guys. Let's see. Have... Ok, Sonia, Jessica, Ileana. Entonces nada más ahí solicitarles chicos la colaboración de que traten de ponerse al día con lo que resta de, del curso. Porque ahorita sí ya vamos a cuenta regresiva, terminamos el día, el día 30 se cierra, el, se cierra el acceso a la plataforma. Pero ustedes, este, bueno, son, prácticamente solo tendríamos estos últimos días para ponernos al día con eso. Vamos a terminar en, vamos a ver, me parece que terminamos el, el 3, si no me equivoco. Jueves 3, ¿verdad? Porque ya no les voy a confirmar, parece que quiero ver, hoy empezamos la unidad 4, 1, 2, 3. Ajá, sí, terminaríamos el jueves 3 de noviembre por, por el asueto del 2, no creería yo. Parece que ese no estaba contabilizado ahí. Pero vamos a confirmar. Vamos a confirmar si sí se suspende. No, yo creería que sí, ¿verdad? Pero sí, la plataforma sí se cierra el 30. Entonces sí, para el 30 ya tenemos que estar completos con todo ahí. Eh, Mirna, Mirna tiene una pregunta. Sí, en el caso de que, de que no lleguen a tiempo los documentos de los que envían los patronos, no podríamos ingresar al, al curso número 2. 
para ese caso, yo creería que están, no estoy muy segura de si ya recibieron o no, pero este, yo me imagino que se les va a dar continuidad. Entonces, pero tendríamos que preguntar. Vamos a preguntar. Yo mañana les doy una respuesta a ver qué. Que si no va a ir recorrido o se va a esperar algún lapso de tiempo mientras se recolecta toda la documentación. Yo ayer recibí el correo ya. Ah, ya, la, ya lo recibió. Sí, sí yo ayer también recibí. ayer lo recibí. ¿Y cuándo Pero se les indicó que se inicia el segundo módulo? Eh, voy a buscar ahorita y se lo voy a mostrar. Bueno, se lo voy a leer. Y en el caso de, bueno, en mi caso, yo no, creo que son dos evaluaciones, pero no hice una. Ajá, ahí, Fecha tentativa de inicio, ahí, de noviembre. ¿El 9? Sí. Así me piden en el correo. 9. Entonces, tenemos un poquito de tiempo, si no han presentado documentación todavía. Tenemos unos días todavía, una, como una semana, semana y media más o menos. Ah, pues la, la idea es darle continuidad a todo, ¿verdad? Que el grupo que inició, pues, continúe. En el caso de que no hice una evaluación. Veamos. Eh, la puede realizar todavía. Porque como se cierra hasta el 30. Uh, uh -huh. Hasta el 30. Te damos eh, 30 a medianoche, sí, ya. Ahí sí, ya. Se archiva. O sea, que el único limitante, por decirlo así, sería también eh, sobre la asistencia, que necesitamos el 80%. Ah, bueno, me parece que vamos bien con la asistencia. Este, no habría problema. Ya vamos a ver el reporte entonces de asistencia para ver cuánto llevan de porcentaje. Vamos a ver, este, Mirna. Mirna, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. Vaya, ah, vamos bien acá, vamos. Este es el 1. Sí, este lo puede mejorar todavía, este también. Acá lo que hace falta, veamos, es el examen. El examen que se hace en la segunda semana. Este uh -huh. todavía está ahí habilitado, lo puede realizar. Y el examen final. Eh, para el examen final yo voy a checar... ¿Qué, es, qué contenido este, aparece ahí para darles alguna, este, algunos puntos. Para y cuando me mañana. dijo ahí puedo mejorar, ¿qué quiere decir? ¿Estar ingresando siempre a la plataforma? Puede volver porque... a realizar los ejercicios. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. ah. Uh -huh. ah. Ok, bien. Vamos, tenemos otra pregunta por ahí. Sí, chef. Dígame. A mí me arreglaron la asistencia. Eduardo. Vale, con sus notas está bien. Con su asistencia también está bien. Vamos a ver. Permítame. Explicar que siempre pierdo su asistencia. Okay, vamos. Veamos el suyo, José Eduardo Valdés, acá sería. Sí, vamos bien acá. Bien. Fecha miércoles 26. Ajá. Sí, ya, aquí está toda su asistencia. Muchas gracias, Techo. Ok. Y ahora podemos ver los porcentajes que llevamos. Sí, permítanme. Ok, sí, acá. 
Ok, aquí pueden ver ustedes cómo va su porcentaje de asistencia. Este porcentaje. Eh, Gerson, Ileana, Isaías, eh, Jessica, José Eduardo, Julio César. Eh, de acá eh, les aparece 74 porque falta todavía procesar lo último. Falta una semana. Uh, uh -huh, una semana, cinco días faltan. Vamos a Karen. Ahí estamos. Entonces aquí pueden ver su porcentaje. A mí me faltan 10 minutos. ¿10 minutos? Sí. <ríe> Los 10 minutos, es cierto. Vamos a ir a preguntar otra vez. Ok, entonces ahorita lo que yo sí les recomiendo es que no falte, ¿verdad? Ninguna clase. Le conectase a las 8, ¿verdad? 8, cierra a las 9. Sí, a, las 9 a las 10, perdón. Entonces, si vamos con la asistencia también, ya pudieron ver ahí ustedes un poquito de cómo van. Bien. ¿Alguna pregunta, chicos? Okay, so we're going to start with the class and here we have a game. So look at this. Um, I want you to give me the correct preposition for this sentence. My birthday is in, on, or at. So what's the correct preposition? In. 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 Okay, in. nice. So I'm going to share the link so you can work with me. Uh, let me see. Les comparta ahí para que lo vayan haciendo ustedes también. Okay, so the next sentence is I don't go to school in, on, or at. I have holidays. Mm -hmm. In, okay, perfect. So continue in that way with your own exercises. Sasha, let's see, Karen, please read that one, please. Sasha goes to bed at 12 o'clock. Okay, perfect. Let's see the next one. Wilfredo, please read that one. We go to school September in. Okay. In September. Cesar, please help us with the next one. Oh, and e at in, at, pardon, sorry. In, so check again. Students go to studium on Wednesday, in Wednesday or at Wednesday. On. 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 Okay. Perfect. Let's see. Let's check another one. Virginia, please. Could you read that one, Virginia? Um, um, at. Okay. At. Dasha swims in the swimming pool at six o'clock. Perfect. Let's see, we have some others. Luis, please help us. Luis, read the full sentence. Albina eats breakfast in coffee in weekend. In the weekend. You sure? Guys? Oh. At the weekend. Okay, so let's check this one. Nice. So and that was cafe. Cafe. My grandma always goes to church. So what do you think? On, in, or at? In. At, at at Easter Sunday. 
Okay. You sure? Yes? Yes. Oops. No. On, right? Mm -hmm. On. So what is oh. this? So what was that? A holiday, right? Let's see. Uh, Nastia has lunch. At, at 12 o'clock. At 12 o'clock. Good. Let's see another one. We sometimes... Gabriela, are you here, Gabriela? No. No, she's not here. Okay, so read that one, please. Jessica. Uh, in. In. Mm -hmm. Sí. Perfect. Okay, Ileana. Dice, you, need, you never watch TV in the night. In the at night. night. At night. At night. Okay. At night. Let's see the next one. We celebrate New Year in 30. The 31st of in. December or at in. on. on. Um. Perfect. On. Dates, right? Help me with this one. Omar, you here? Hello, hello. Omar, help us with this one. Yo sería at teacher. Ariana and Albina go to the cinema at noon. Perfect. Okay, so help me with this one. Mirna, please. Uh, my mom's birthday is. Okay, so on. on August. At, in, or on? In. Oh. Sí. In. Con los meses del año, ¿qué proposición ocupamos? In. In, right? In. Okay. Wilfredo, again, go ahead. At the morning. At. In the morning. Okay. So that should never go to the museum in the morning. Perfect. Sonia. My sister was born in uh, uh -huh. 2017. 2017. 2017. Uh -huh. Con estas fechas, con los nombres, las pueden leer en dos, ¿verdad? 2017. Or 2017. Let's see. I like to go sledding at winter. In winter, on winter. In. In. In winter. In. Mm -hmm. Con las estaciones del año, right? Let's see. Karen. I hate to wake up. In. No, Monday morning. Mm -hmm. So what's the correct preposition? On. Um. On. Very good. Let's see. Somebody volunteer. We always what? We always eat pizza at lunchtime. Okay. Perfect. The bus. So what do you think about this one? Easy. The bus arrived at a quarter before a quarter to quarter before 17 no, 19 oh. okay <laughs> okay if you're uh, talking uh, uh, estaba hablando ahí de la hora militar sí. um, <laughs> so but what time is it oh. what time is it 6.45 6.45 Mm -hmm. at, at the quarter two 
to seven, right? A quarter to seven. A quarter to seven. Okay, nice. So that was enough, right? Do you want to play another one? No, right? <laughs> ya se lo manejan bien. No, me confundo todavía. Todavía se confunde. Le damos otra ronda. De <laughs> dos, siete, dos, veinte. Una. Doce de veinte. Doce de veinte. Doce de veinte. Ok, vamos a ver, veamos otra, si tenemos otra por acá. So let me check this one. So that was the easiest one. So I'm going to show you the same that I showed you yesterday. Voy a mostrar el mismo que vimos ayer, nada más para eh, que ahí recapitulemos. So let's see. Okay, so hold on. So you got to tell me what's the correct preposition for each of the columns. What's the correct word? I mean, look at this. We have in, on, and at. We have to classify that words. So let's practice. In, volunteer, in. Select the words that goes with in. 2002. Okay. 2022, Okay. What is? In January. In January, okay. In winter. Winter. What else? Winter, okay. 2020. 2020s in the 2020s. Yes. Yes. You sure? The. Yes. Uh huh. So what yes. is the the evening? Les envié el link ahí también para que lo vayan completando ustedes. Let's see. In. So we're missing three words. No hacen falta tres palabras ahí. Recuerden, lo utilizamos con años, meses, estaciones, décadas, siglos. The 21st century. 21st century. Okay. The 21st century. November 26. November 26. Mm. Esa es una, ya sería una fecha. The evening. Uh -huh. The evening, recuerden, partes del día. Night. In the night. night. Okay, so let's continue with on. In two hours. In two hours. Let's see. Ah, oh, okay. In two hours. Entonces, recuerden acá, in, lo utilizamos con años, meses, estaciones, decades, Deca. centuries, uh -huh, décadas, siglos, eh, partes del día, in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon, también con eh, las horas y con los minutos. Let's see, on, help me with this one, on. Christmas. On Christmas. Perfect. Holidays. Celebraciones. Fiestas. My birthday. Ah, okay. My birthday. On my birthday. Uh -huh. Saturday. On Saturday. Con los días de la semana. Days of the week. On Sunday On morning. On Sunday morning. Okay. Parte del día en específico. Yes. What else? The November 26th. On November the 26th. 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 
six. Thanksgiving Day. On Thanksgiving Day, uh -huh. special occasions or celebrations. On. 25 December. Mm -hmm. On the 25th of December. 25th of December. And at? At noon. At noon. Uh -huh. At night. At dawn. And at 2 o'clock. So let's check it. Dawn, en este caso sería el amanecer. También otra manera de llamarlo. El amanecer, sunrise and sunset. Recuerden que acá con at a veces eh, hay algunas palabras que van, bueno, estandarizadas que van con at. Igual que in, in two hours, in some minutes, por ejemplo. At noon, at night, at dawn, at two o'clock. Para horas específicas, para horas exactas o el tiempo. So let's check it. Ok. Vale, ¿Qué dijimos de Christmas? Christmas podía ser utilizada con... On, ah, también. Christmas. Ajá. Christmas. Ajá. Christmas puede on. ser utilizada con on o puede ser utilizada con at. At. Wilfredo, ¿cómo vamos, Wilfredo? Sí, lo mismo me saqué. ¿Cuántas? 17, 18, pero sí me equivoqué con Christmas. Ajá, ok, pero no, está bien, está bien, de hecho está bien. Le podemos tomar, eh, tómenle una captura de pantalla ahí para que les quede. Permítanme que ya no me sale. Bueno. Thank you, please. Ok. No, no, no le pude. Espero que le hayan tomado una captura. Pero igual, las de ayer también este, les pueden ayudar bastante. Ok. So we're going to have a speaking time. And we're going to try to use the prepositions. So I want you to give me your answers using the prepositions. So discuss the questions below with your partner. So we're going to discuss this together. I'm going to give you some examples and later on you have to uh, create your own examples or your own answers, right? Bien, vamos a empezar acá. So what time do you usually get up in the morning? So what, I want you to give me an answer using the preposition. Quiero que me respuestas utilizando la preposición. So what time do you usually get up in the morning? I usually Usually get up in the morning. Get up at. Uh -huh. Okay. Usualmente las proposiciones van al final. Okay. I usually get up at um, what time? Five, for example. Five o'clock. Okay. Five o'clock a.m. Five a.m. In the morning. Look at this. In the morning. Let's see. Question number two. At what time do you usually go to work or school? Okay. Ustedes podrían, perdón, ustedes podrían dar una respuesta como, at what time do you usually go to work or school? 7 p.m., 8 o'clock. But I want you to give me the full answer. Pero yo quiero que me den toda la respuesta la completa. Pero no, no está mal. Let's see, at what time do you usually go to work or school? I usually go to work 7 a.m. o'clock. Okay, at 7 o'clock a.m. Mm -hmm. At 7 o'clock? A.m. Nice. Let's see. Question number three. Karen, can you read question number three? What do you usually do on weekends day? Okay. Afternoon. So what do you usually do? Guys? I usually go to the church. Mm -hmm. I usually go to, let's see. The church. Ah, question three. What do you usually do on weekday? Weekday afternoons. 
Ah. Mm -hmm. So I what do you? I usually watch TV. Mm -hmm. I usually watch TV on weekday afternoons, right? Perfect. Uh, question four, Wilfredo. Do you always eat lunch at noon? What do you usually eat? Mm -hmm. So do you always eat lunch at noon? What do you usually eat? So the answer, uh-huh. eat chicken. So the question, look at the question. Do you always eat lunch at noon? Donde es aparecer? Well, sorry? What do you mean in Spanish noon? Noon, al mediodía, al mediodía. Ah, uh -huh. eh, I always... Eat... So look at this. Yes. So ah, it's yes. a yes, no question, right? Yes. Eat I way. always eat lunch at noon. Perfect. I usually eat chicken. Eat at chicken. Okay, nice. Let's see. Yes, I usually I always eat lunch at noon. I usually eat chicken. Next question, Cesar. Why? Uh, do you ever take a nap in the afternoon? Mm -hmm. Do you ever take a nap in the afternoon? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yes, I do, right? So don't forget that. Yes, I do, or only yes. Um, Hi. Uh, and then you have to give me an answer. Do you ever take a nap in the afternoon? Yes. Why? Why not? Or you you may say, um, I. Usually. So you can modify that. You can say, I sometimes, for example, I sometimes take a nap in the afternoon. Okay. Question, let's see, six. Question six. Virginia, help us. Question six. So we talked about these questions yesterday. So is your birthday in June? If not, when is your birthday? Is your birthday in June, guys? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes, it is. My birthday is in June, right? Question seven, question seven. What do you like to do to relax at bedtime? So what do you like to do, guys, at bedtime? Jessica, what do you think? What do you like to do to relax at bedtime? ¿Qué hacen para relajarse? ¿Cómo se van a gustar? I listen to music. Oh, uh -huh. I watch to the series. Okay, so I like to listen to music or watch TV, you said, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Question eight. Can you remember... What do you, what you did on Tuesday afternoon? ¿Qué hicieron el martes por la tarde? I. So what did you do on, um, yeah, on Tuesday afternoon? What do you remember? ¿Para qué recuerdan? So what do you do? Do you do something new? Do you, I don't know. Do you hang out with your friends? Do you play? Do you play? I eat alitas. Okay, I ate alitas. Alitas. Okay. <laughs> okay, I ate alitas. 
Y en esa sí tenemos que utilizar un verbo en pasado. Ate. Con, con me. Okay. Let's see. Um, or you can say wings, right? Wings. Mm -hmm. Wings. Yes, buffalo wings. Buffalo wings. Mm -hmm. And what do you like to do? To re uh, I mean, question nine. Do you ever go skiing in winter? Yes, we talk about these questions. Yes. No, right. <laughs> Sorry. And the last question, what time do you usually go to sleep at night? Go to sleep usually at 11 p.m. Mm -hmm. To sleep at 11, 11 p.m. Perfect. Let's see, is it clear? Do you have any question about this? So we also have some more questions. So take a screenshot. Tómenle una capturita de pantalla ahí para que sigamos discutiendo las que nos hacen falta. Ready? Okay, so let's continue with the second part. Student B. Okay, guys, question. Do you ever get up at sunrise? Do you ever get up at sunrise? Alguna vez se levantan? Al amanecer. When I go to yes. see. Yes. Yes, right? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I get up. Um, yes, I get up. Um, sunrise. Uh -huh. Yes, I get up at sunrise. Okay. Um, question two. What time do you usually get up on weekends, I usually get up on weekends at night. At nine, okay. At, at nine, okay. At nine on weekends, weekends, right? Let's see. Question three, Gabriela. Read question three. What do you usually do on weekend? Ever? Evenings. Uh -huh. Weekday. Weekday. Yeah. What do you usually do on weekday evenings? Mm -hmm. Evenings. Evening. 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 Evenings. 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 Okay, select a volunteer. Gabriela, ask the question again. Select somebody. <laughs> uh, number three. Uh huh. And uh, select somebody. Uh -huh. Ali Ali. Mirna. Okay. 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 Uh, Mirna, what do you what do you usually do on weekday evenings? I what do you usually realmente no entiendo muy bien la pregunta, solo entiendo usualmente haces tú haces. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So think about your daily activities or your activities on weekday evenings. ¿Alguna actividad en la tarde, en las tardes? Uh, usually, um, room. Okay. On weekday evenings, right? I usually run on weekday evenings. Can you read that sentence again, please? Um, Sisa. Okay, but first, read the sentence again. Ahí me ayuda. Nuevamente le damos la oración. I usually okay. run. Sería las cinco, ¿verdad? Mm, 
No, es la cuatro. La cuatro. But just listen to this. I usually run on weekday evenings. So read the full sentence. Solamente lea la, la oración completa. Esta. Ah, perdón. Es que casi no le escucho. No sé por qué se le se bajó el volumen. Casi no le escucho esto. Ah, ok. No, el audio casi no escucho. Do you, do you usually do on weekend, do on weekend evenings? And the answer? La respuesta. I usually, I usually run on weekday evening. Okay, perfect. Continue on with the next question. Cesar. On oh, five. Mm -hmm. um, no, that's four. La respuesta de la cuatro. No, uh -huh. la no ask the question. Está. Ask the question. Sí, pero de San Juan. Do you ever travel do in ever... summer? Travel in summer. If yes, where do you travel to? Okay. Cesar, what do you think? Do you ever travel in summer? Yes, uh, watch TV at night. Travel. Look at this. It's question four. Question four. Do you ever travel in summer? I'm sorry. <laughs> Check it again. Uh, I travel in summer and yes, I travel in Santa Tecla. I travel to Santa Tecla. Okay, to Santa Tecla. When? Yeah, in? in summer. In the summer. 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 Okay, Cesar, continue with question number five and select a classmate. Okay. Question five. Um, do you even watch TV at night? We wait not. Why? Why not? Why? Why not? Okay. Um, to whom? Uh huh. A quién se la puedo hacer? <laughs> yes, select somebody, a victim. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, a ver. Um, uh, Wilfredo. Okay. Yes, I do. Because I wait to give me more sleep. No. Que me dé más sueño. Because? I wait. Que le dé más sueño. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's, it makes me fall asleep. Me hace quedarme dormido. It makes yes. me fall asleep. Okay, Wilfredo, continue with question uh, six. Question six. Okay. Teacher, I don't know, you know. <laughs> Higher. <laughs> Virginia, how do you usually feel on the Monday morning? Why? Okay, how do you usually feel? ¿Cómo se siente los lunes en la mañana? How do you usually feel on Monday mornings? I feel happy, tired. I don't know. Bored. Um, Feliz, aburrido, cansado. I don't know. How do you um, feel? Uh, how do you say con sueño? Sleepy? It's sleepy. Mm -hmm. So the question is, how do you usually feel on Monday mornings? I usually feel sleepy on Monday mornings. So Virginia, how do you feel? I usually feel? I usually feel happy. Usualmente me siento feliz, cansado, aburrido, con sueño. So how do you feel? So, con sueño. 
Okay, so what's the word? Sleepy, sleepy. I usually feel sleepy on Monday mornings. I usually feel sleepy on Monday mornings. Monday. Uh huh. So read the, the sentence again. I usually feel Monday morning. Mm -hmm. I usually feel sleepy on Monday morning. ¿Cómo me siento? Feliz, cansado, agotado, aburrido, sleepy con sueño. Monday mornings. So, by the way, how do you feel, guys? ¿Cómo se sienten, chicos? Happy. Happy. Especially happy. 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 Buenos. <laughs> De todo un poco. <laughs> Estresado. <laughs> no, I usually feel happy, right? Yes. Let's see. Uh, next question, guys. Um, were you born in the 1990s? If no, when were you born? Tell me, somebody. I was born in the 80s. In the 80s. Omar? So were you born in the 90s? Yes, I was born in the 1996. Okay, the 90s. Okay, 1996. Mm, how about you? Let's see, Jessica. So were you born in the 90s? Yes, I won 1994. Okay, nice. Liliana, Liliana. Liliana. So were you born in the 90s too? How are you, Gabriela? I I was born in in nineteen ninety ninety ninety. Okay, ninety ninety. Okay, good. Let's see. Question A: What time is sunset? What time is sunset, guys? What is the meaning of sunset, Coach? Sunset in la tarde. Uh, thank you. So, what time is sunset? Uh, half past five. Half past five. Do you agree? The rest? ¿Están de acuerdo los demás? Yes, half past five. Or six. Or six. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting question. Do you ever look at the sun at sunset? ¿Alguna vez miran al sol ahí en la, al atardecer? ¿A la puesta de sol? Yes? No? No. No. So you're so busy. Adentro de metro, no se ve el sol. No se ve. When I go to the beach, the beach, yes. Ah, okay, so that's good. Okay. Uh, let's see, the question nine. Do you ever celebrate the new year on December the 31st? ¿Alguna vez celebra el nuevo año on December the 31st? Yes, no? Yes. Yes, okay. ¿Alguien me dijo que no? All right. So what do you eat? on Christmas. So what do you eat? Turkey. Turkey, okay, turkey. And the last one, what do you usually do when you're hungry at midnight? So what do you usually do when you are hungry at midnight? ¿Qué hacen cuando tienen hambre? Se levantan en la medianoche. I drink uh -huh. water. Okay. I uh, usually eat a cookie. You drink coffee? A cookie? No, without coffee, only cookie. Okay, a biscuit or a cookie? Nice. Let's see. Uh, what do you usually do when you're hungry at midnight? Caesar. 
I usually um, eat uh, recalentado. 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 Okay. Nice. Okay. Nice. I hope that you have taken some notes because right now I want you to discuss these questions and I'm going to give you five minutes. So you're going to have just five minutes because we have some other activities. Let's see. So take a screenshot. Tómale una captura ahí. So I think five minutes yeah. is enough. Cinco minutos suficiente. Porque acá les hemos hecho solamente de algunas, de algunas que, que ustedes me han dado. Pero probablemente algunos otros tienen otras respuestas. Okay, so I'm going to give you five minutes. I think that's enough. Cinco minutos para discutir estas preguntas. Yes, you ready? Ya le tomaron captura ahí. Yes. Okay, perfect. A las anteriores, a no, las anteriores no, más bien nos quedamos con estas últimas. Y con estas. Discutimos esas. Pero si tienen las otras también, ustedes eligen. Ahí los dejo que eligen, eh, pueden elegir student B or student A. Okay. So you have five minutes. Let's see. Hold on, I'm going to create the breakout rooms. Okay, so if you're ready, let's go, guys. So join the breakout rooms, join the breakout rooms. Hello, teacher. Hola Luis, no Hello. recibí la invitación. Sí, pero no me dejé. Vaya, se la voy a enviar otra vez. No lo deja ir, lo regresa, ¿verdad? Sí, no, no me deja ingresar a ninguno. Vamos a ver. Eh, veamos, intentaremos ahorita otra vez. Vuelvo a ingresar. ¿Ahorita? I, I I usually get up in at five five twenty five o'clock in the okay. morning. No, okay. Five twenty a.m. Five twenty. Okay. Virginia. Do you ever watch TV at night? Watch TV, watch TV. Uh -huh. No, it's in the other one. Uh-huh. I can't see the thing. I... It's... 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 Era la, la que había dejado, era Sonia, la número cinco. No era eso. ¿Qué okay. está diciendo? ¿Vale estamos entonces viendo? Ajá, yo le pregunté de la otra ella, pero le podemos preguntar de acá.
Las que se... Ah, solamente, no. baja, solamente se dice no, nada más. Y a mí sí, sí me va no. a tocar la respuesta. Eh, se dice uh, yes. Yes. Okay, entonces este, la decimos. Hello, teacher. Hello. <risa> okay. La primera. Do you ever get up at sunrise? Why? Why not? Um, I usually get up, give up. Uh, no sé, I get up usually, no sé, I usually get up. Uh -huh. I usually I get up at um, six o'clock. Why? A las seis de la mañana. A las seis. Eh, ah, seis por... puntos. Guay, ¿por qué? Um, es... In... Aparte que va el trabajo. <ríe> ¿Cómo es? I go... I to go to I, my okay. job. I go in the work. No sé si lo estaba haciendo bien, teacher. <ríe> Hello, hello. Repeat that again. Repeat it again. Okay. Uh, do you ever get up at sunrise? Um, I usually get up at six o'clock. Why? Um, in go in the work. At work. At work. At work. Sorry. At work. Pero más o menos lo hicimos bien, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Solo el at, el último at. Solo es ahora. At work. Thank you. Vaya, hoy la otra entonces, Gabriel. A popa. A popa. A toma. Yes. A popa. Ok. In summer. No, in summer. To visit any family? Julian? What is the other? Do you ever watch TV in the night? Uh, yes, I do. I watch TV in the night. And uh, it makes me fall asleep. Esa es la respuesta que yo di la sostengo. Ok, la mía es... Uh, do you ever watch TV in the night? Uh, yes, I... No. Yes, I do. I watch series in Netflix. Uh, it may is make me... Happy. ¿Sí? <laughs> make me happy. ¿Es Okay. How do you usually feel on Monday morning? Uh, I use. I usually. I usually feel tired because <laughs> because I am driving the traffic. And I stressful for me. It's very difficult the morning. <laughs> yeah. I I feel on Monday very positive because I we start a new week. Where is she born? Okay. How do you usually feel where you born in the 1990? 1990. It's not when were you born. 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 Um. 
I was born. Uy. Uy. June. Carl was born in. I don't know. ¿Cuándo naciste? ¿En qué año? Ah, uh, en. Nine. <laughs> okay. En. One thousand. Ninety. I know. No me acuerdo cómo se llama. Nineteen. Ajá, lo puedes leer <laughs> dividido en dos cifras. Nineteen. Ah, uh, nineteen. 1996. Uh -huh. okay. I was born in 1989. Okay. What time is sunset? Do you ever look at the sun? At sunset, why and why not? I think that the sunset is five o'clock. It start five, five o'clock, and sometimes I look for when I go to the beach. I I look, but no. Estar menos en una carga. Juan, una, una, dos, tres. Buenísimo. Hola, teacher. Teacher. <laughs> ok. ¿Me toca? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Were you born in the 1990s? Ajá. <laughs> If no, when were you born? Okay. Um, yes, I was born in the nineteen ninety six. Was uh, was born. And you, Jessica? Yes, I was born ninety ninety four. Okay. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia 1990? 1990s. 1990s. Ajá, ¿y cómo son 90? 94 sería. 1994. 1994. Y si lo quiero pronunciar de la otra forma. Uh, es... No, son 1900. Los noventa serían. Nineteen uh, nineties. Okay. Okay. Yossi, It's what do you usually do when you are hungry at midnight? Hungry. Oh. Mm, mm, only I I usually drink water. I usually drink drink drinks water. Aha, uh -huh, without s, no s. I usually uh, drink, drink water. Drink water. That I uh, usually eat. Wait, Seria. Eat. Eat. Uh.
Okay, uh, listen up. We're going to try to finish with some exercises from the book. Let me see, I'm just going to show you um, this exercise on page, see that's page 31. I don't know if you have worked on this. Algunos ya trabajaron en esta parte del manual? From unit three, questions about it? No, teacher, aún yo no todavía. Todavía no. Okay, so we're going to try to um, some exercises from this workbook. Let's see. Um, I'm going to explain you a little bit about this and look at this. Um, if you haven't worked on this, right? Si no han trabajado aquí, o les hace falta algún ejercicio. Acá solamente lo que vamos a hacer es completar as different partners what each of the occupation does at the workplace. So pay attention to the question. The question is what's your occupation? So what's your occupation or what do you do, right? Let me see. I'm going to... Okay, the question in this one is, what do you do? So I want you to help me with this. So what do you do or what's your occupation? So you, you're supposed to ask uh, your classmates about their occupations. Okay. For example, um, well, it doesn't make sense. So what do you do? What do you do, uh, Karen? What do you do, Karen? I software engineer. Mm -hmm. Okay, Karen. She is a software engineer, right? Let's see, next question. Um, Karen, select somebody. So we're going to complete with these occupations. Okay, uh, Omar, what do you do? Uh, human. He is a human research specialist. Mm -hmm. Omar, he is a human resource specialist. Specialist. Let's see, Omar, continue with the next, with the question. So what do you do? Select a classmate. Uh, Wilfredo. Okay. What do you do? Hello, Wilfredo. So where is Wilfredo? Wilfredo is a financial analyst. Uh -huh. Wilfredo is a financial analyst. analyst. Okay, perfect. So I'm just trying to complete these exercises because, well, some of you probably have these occupations, but some others don't. Entonces acá lo estamos haciendo así porque algunos tienen estas ocupaciones, pero no todos. Let's see, um, Wilfredo, continue. Continue with the question. What do you do? Uh -huh. Irma, what do you do? What do you? I am, I am. I am, I am uh, finance, financial analyst. Okay, this one, this one. Insurance, Insurance agent. agent. Insurance agent. Mm -hmm. Agent, perfect. So Mirna okay. works as an insurance agent. Miren, aquí tenemos otra manera de cómo contestar, right? Continue, Mirna. Mm -hmm. Select a classmate, bookkeeper. Um, select a... Um, 
Jessica. Jessica, okay. Jessica, what do you do? I bookkeeper. Mm -hmm. Jessica is a bookkeeper. Any idea? What is a bookkeeper? Any idea? Sorry, ideas. ¿Qué es un bookkeeper? Contable. Un contador. Un contable. Okay. Continue, Jessica. Um, what do you do? Julio Cesar. Julio is a digital marketing manager. Mm -hmm. Digital marketing manager. Okay. So this is the way how you answer, right? Let's see. So we'll continue with the next. Let's see. So give me a second. Okay. Uh, write the days of the week. So can you mention the days of the week, guys? In order. Okay. Monday. 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 Two. Tuesday. 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 Okay. Tuesday. Wednesday. 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 Okay. Thursday. 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 Okay. Thursday. Friday. 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 Six. Saturday. 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 And the last one. Sunday. And my favorite one. Sunday. So, what's your favorite day of the week? Sunday. Sunday. Well, for me, it's Sunday. Well, Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> okay. So look at this. Um, Here you have the departments of the companies. Do you remember that we studied this in the beginning of the unit, let's see, number three. So we studied this at, at the beginning. Estudiamos esto al inicio de, las, de la unidad tres. Production. So what's production? We have to select the correct number and match them. The department with the definition. Production. So what number of definition is that one? One, two, three, four, five, six, four. Okay, this one. Production. Control okay. and supervise the production. The number one teacher. Uh, five is number one. No, it's it's not four, it's number one. Production. Yes, it control and supervise the production. So what do you think? Number one, production, definition one, two, three, or four. Huh, yeah, wow. I, I got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost Friday. <laughs> be gentle, be kind. Let's see. Number two, research and development. Research and development. Develop, design, new, or provide existing products or purpose. Uh huh. Number. Okay, definition of one, right? This one, number research. Five. Number. Research number and development. El Departamento de Investigación y Desarrollo. So what do you think? No, teacher. It's the five. number five. Number five. Okay. This is ah. number six. Oh, yes. You're right. So that's two. Okay, how about purchasing? Purchasing department. The last one. The last one, okay. Marketing. The first one. The first one. No, but it's number four. Number four. <laughs> You're trying. How are you doing with my mind? <laughs> Let's see, it's four. Okay, human resources management. 
The second one. Second one, okay. Number five. And the last one. Okay, let's see. Um, Gabriela, read the first one, production, please. Production, read the definition. Production, production. control and supervise the production, workforce and inventory. Mm -hmm. Inventory, inventory. Mm -hmm. Uh, can I continue with the next one? Research and development. Develop, design new or improve existing products or process. Mm -hmm. Processes and number three, Wilfredo. I can achieve route, materials, production, equipment, etc. For okay. the use of the organization. Okay, number four, Julio. Your know, marketing, um, research and identify what consumer what and need it in the, in the right place. Okay, identify, identify. Identify. What customers, customers what customer want, want and need and need at the right place place at the right place okay number five human resources management luis human resource and human resources management management resources management 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 degree select and train new employees for the right job in the company okay and the last one Sonia, accounting and finance. Yes, accounting and finance. A kept the finance record on transaction involving monetary inflow and and outflows. Outflow. Okay. Nice. So let's continue with the next page. Create questions based on the answers. So I have to write a report about the production every Friday. So what could be the double H question? I have to write a report about the production every Friday. When do you write a report about the production? Okay. When do you? Right. Okay, nice. Number two, I work in the blue building. So what's the double H question? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta ahí? I work in the blue building. Trabajo en el edificio azul. Where do you work? Where do you work? Okay, where do you work? Nice. Number three, Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. What time start to work, Maria okay. and I? What time do you start to work? Okay, do Maria and I. And you? And you. And you start and you. Uh -huh. <laughs> start working. Let's see. Four. We design and others create a new product. What do we do? So the question is, what do we do? Mm, I mean, it would probably be, what do you do? What do you do? Okay. We design and others create a new product. They have okay. a meeting because we have to talk about the inflows and outflows. Tienen una reunión porque tenemos que hablar de las, los ingresos y, los, y las salidas. What do they have a meeting? Okay. Why do they have a meeting? 
¿Por qué tienen una reunión? Sí. Sí. A meeting because we have to talk about the influx and outflux. Okay, so what do you think? Of, again, read the question. Why do they have a meeting? They have a meeting because we have to talk about the influx and outflux. So it would probably be you. So why do you have a meeting? Well, but in this case, well, I'm comparing this one because we have to talk about the inflows and outflows. So why do they have a meeting? Okay, so we keep this one. They. Let's see, let's continue with the next exercise. Okay, so we, we practice that conversation. So read the conversation again to circle the correct word in bolts. So what do or does Albert have to do on Thursday? So let's read the conversation. Let's see, Karen, please read Kevin and Albert, Omar, please. Okay, what do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the productions for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does Mr. Fries have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay, nice. So let's read the conversation together and then later on we're going to answer the questions. So what do you have to do on Thursday? I just checked the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? And write, write. See, right. write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to right. help me move some boxes. Because I need someone, someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does Mr. Reese have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Let's see, I need two volunteers, two volunteers. Who wants to read the conversation? Para leer la conversación? Yes, please. Okay, me. Okay, Gabriela and Mirna, I guess. Yes. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just checked the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move to help me move some books. Can can you do do? <laughs> Perdón, es que me está fallando el el teléfono y no puedo ampliarla. Okay. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is about? What does Mr. Ruiz hate to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when doesn't, doesn't he have free time? Free time. Okay. What else? Okay, thank you. Let's see, I need two more volunteers. Cesar, do you want to start? What do you have to do on Tuesday? I, I just uh -oh. check. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sonia, okay, Sonia and Cesar. Okay. Cesar. What do you have to, to do on Tuesday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? 
because a new sound to help me move some box. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What do Mr. Ruiz have to do they die? I am not sure. What time does he finish the work in the twelfth day or when does he have free time? Okay. Thank you guys. So let's check some words. So what do you have to do? So what do you have to do on Thursday? Thursday. Thursday. What do you have to do on Thursday? So what Thursday. do you have to do on Thursday? Thursday. What do you have to do on Thursday? Thursday. Let's see. The next one. I just, just, uh -huh. I just check, check the, production the production for the new, the new product. It can be new or new. Okay, new, new or new. new. Mm -hmm. new. new or new. The new product. product. Right. A report. Report about it. About it. About it. About it. Leamos desde el principio. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production. I just check the for production the for production. the new production. A report about it. A report about it. Let's see. ¿Qué tienes que hacer el jueves? So what do you have to do on Thursday? Solamente reviso la producción para el nuevo producto, for the new product, y escribo un report. Report. Mm -hmm. About it. Sobre, about that product, right? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Help, help, help. 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 So don't forget the sound of P, P right? Help. Because help. I need someone to help me move. Because I need move, someone, move, someone to help move me. Some move. boxes. Boxes. Some oh, boxes. Can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What is it about? What is it about? What, is what, it is about? It about? what does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. And don't forget I'm this one. So sure. 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 I'm not so sure. 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 I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Let's see. The next one is what time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Or when does what? he have free time? What time does he he finished to work on Thursday. Or when does he have free time? Okay, so now let's check again. Thursday. Thursday. Production. 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 Some, mm. some, some. 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 Boxes. 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 About it. About, About it. Favor. 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 Have. 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 Sure. 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 Do. 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 And time. 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 Okay. So let's practice again. I don't know how to erase. Sorry. Ayuda aquí como se borra, chico. Ahí tiene que ir eliminando uno por uno. My goodness. 
No, selecciona donde está cualquier pet. Ajá, y ahí está. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> y si lo cierra. That's why I don't use it. <laughs> y dice que no lo va a guardar. Eso no lo uso, siempre utilizo el PDF y me voy con el Zoom. Let's see. So now let's uh, practice again. What do you have to do on Thursday? What do you have to do on Thursday? So listen and repeat with me. What do you have to do on Thursday? What do you have what to do, do, you do, have do, you have to do on Thursday? Okay, I just checked the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? I just checked the production, check the production the of the new product. product. And why okay. I report about it? Why? 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 Okay, and don't forget, this is why. Why? 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 Because, because, because I need someone to help me move some boxes. boxes. To help me. Because, because I need someone, someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? 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 Is there again? Can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Okay, so can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? 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 What is it about? Claro. De qué se trata, right? So what is it about? What does Mr. Reese have to do that day? What does Mr. Reese have to do that day? Okay, I'm not so sure. I'm not, I'm so, not sure. so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? What time what does time he does finish to work, 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 work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Or, or when, when does, does he have free time? Have free, time. Free, time. Free, time. free time. Free time. 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 Free time. Let's see. Volunteers. Time. Volunteers. Free I need some time. volunteers. Uh, Activate your microphones. Yo lo puedo intentar otra okay, vez. Mirna. Perfect. Oh. Oh. Mirna and Wilfredo. Okay. Sí. Go ahead. Okay. What do you, uh, inicia. Okay. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it way. Because I did someone to help me move some box. Can you do me a fiber? Sir, what is it? What is it about? What is what it about? That we have to do that day. I am not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay. Okay, thank you. Very good, Mirna. Sure, sure. I'm not so sure. Sure, sure. sure. I'm, not, I'm not sure. Uh -huh. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Mm -hmm. No estoy muy seguro. No estoy tan seguro, right? I'm not I'm so not sure. Sure, sure. I'm not oh, sure. sure. Let's see. Gabriela and Omar. Ah, okay. Gabriela and Ileana, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What do you do? What do you have to do on Thursday? I just checked the production of the new products in why I report about it with. Because, because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure, what is about? What does Mr. Reese have to you that day? I am not sure. What time does the high finish to work on Thursday? Or with those, he have free time. Okay, thank you, ladies. So what do you have to do on Thursday? 
I just check the production for the new product and write a report about. So this is new or new. Okay, aquí tenemos dos, new or new. The product and write, write, okay, write, write, write. Right. The report right. about right. it, about it, about it. About it, about and it. And don't forget the um, double H questions. Why and mm. when, right? Why when. and when? Why and when. Okay, let's see, two more volunteers. Activate your microphones. What do you have to do on Thursday? Okay, Sonia, and I need a volunteer, somebody else. Okay, Luis, please help us, Luis. <laughs> what do you have to do on Thursday? He left. Let's see, Luisa no desapareció. Oh, somebody else. I just checked the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is about? What does Mr. Reed? How to stop that? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish the work on sure. Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay, so it was very good. Congratulations, ladies. Okay, let's see. Let's continue. Read the conversation again to circle the correct word in bold. Then answer the question. Uh, question one, who can read the question number one? What do or does Albert have to do on Thursday? So what's the correct auxiliary? Does. 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 Okay, does. Question two, what's the correct auxiliary? Does. Does, does. again, okay. Yes. Yes. The next one, number three. Do. 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 Okay. What? Who do you think is going to help Kevin? For? What does? Yes. Yes. What does Mr. Reyes do on Thursday? Okay. So what are the answers? So what does Albert have to do on Thursday? Do you remember? He checks the production for the new product and write a report. Okay, excellent. He checks, can you read it again? He checks. He checks the production for the new product and write a report and writes a report. Mm -hmm. Report about it. Right? Why does Kevin need help? ¿Por qué necesita ayuda Kevin? Because he needs someone to help he, to help him to move some boxes. Boxes, right? Who do you think is going to help Kevin? ¿Quién creen que va a ayudar a Kevin? Who do you think is going to help Kevin? Mr. Reese. Mr. Reese, right? What does Mr. Reese do on Thursday? Help to Kevin. He. Uh huh. Wilfred. He goes to help to Kevin. We don't know, right? No. Mm -hmm. What do you have for this one, Karen? I write, he works. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he works, but we don't know. So let's check again. So what does Mr. Reese have to do on that day? I'm not so sure. 
sea, no ataca, no le quiere ayudar, ¿verdad? <laughs> I'm not. Um, probably he works. He probably works. Okay. Let's see. Let's continue. Create the questions with the words provided. So let's try to create the questions. Number one, uh, one, why he have a meeting? So what's the question? Let's unscramble the question. Why he have why meeting? Have, yeah. why, 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 does, why does he have a meeting? Okay, why does he have a meeting? Number two. Where that? Where does she process project time. the finance? Mm -hmm. okay. Perfect. So where does he process the payments? Number three. What if there is what he do in that? What do in on no? What does in Okay, what does Ingrid do on Wednesday? And uh, number four. What do you do there? No. When? No. Um, when, when does employee acquire the few material? Mm -hmm. What? When does okay, the employee acquire the raw material? And the question mark, right? So when does the employee acquire the raw material? Okay. Let's continue. So we have some exercises. Um, let's read Mrs. Robles' agenda in order to answer the following exercise. Uh, read Mrs. Robles' agenda and tell a partner at what time she does some activities. Let's see, uh, read the first activity, Karen. At uh, seven. 15, meet, meeting with the marketing department. Okay, 8.30, Julio. Sorry. Read this one, please. So what happens at 8.30? Okay, uh, eight and half, half up. And 30, half, one and a half, teacher. Half past. Eight. How fast a video call with the supervisor from West Company? Okay, supervisor, video call, video call, video call, video call, video call with the supervisor, supervisor from, from West Company. company. Okay, at nine o'clock, Gabby? Uh, nine o'clock, workshop the to the research and development department to employ the manufacturing process. Okay. At 12, Wilfredo? Workshop lunch. Okay, Jessica? Continue, Jessica. Uh, workshop. Uh -huh. lunch. Workshop lunch, this one. Second part of the worship. Yes. It's half past. No, it's a quarter, quarter past two. A quarter two. A quarter two. two. A quarter two. Second part of the worship. Mm -hmm. A quarter two. Two, right? A quarter no. to two. A quarter to two. Okay. Um, and the last one, let's see, Sonia. 
here. Um, five to six. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow, schedule to Mrs. Lopez, new secretary, and leave. And leave. So let's read and that again. Mm -hmm. At the quarter past seven, meeting with the marketing department. At 8.30, video call with the supervisor from West Company. At 9 o'clock, workshop to the research and development department to improve the manufacturing process. Uh, 12, what I've done? Workshops, lunch. Un almuerzo, ahí del taller. So a workshop es un taller, a workshop. Uh, quarter to two, second part of the workshop. And at 5.55, she sends the schedule to Miss Lopez, right? The new secretary, and she leaves. Let's see. So what time is the video call with the West Company? What time is the video call with the West Company? At 8.30. 8.30, okay. Anything. Next question, what time does the workshop with the research department start? What time? What time does the workshop with the research department start? At nine o'clock. At nine o'clock, okay. What time does the company close? Primero, es necesario que desbloquees el list. Okay, the company close. What time? So let's check it again. So what time does the company close? At 5.55. 5.55. Mm. You sure? She's at 5.55, she sends tomorrow's schedule to Miss Lopez. And leave. And leave. So I would say six. <laughs> Maybe. Six. Uh -huh. The company closes at six, right? 6 p.m., okay. Okay, so now, um, please help me to complete this with the question, what time and do or does. So practice the conversation with a classmate. Number one, um, let's see. Sonia, please, and Luis, number one. There is a recruitment on new employees on Tuesday. ¿Cuál es el complemento, teacher? Really? Uh -huh. What time do or, or does. auxiliaries do or does? Seria, really? What time? What time? Auxiliary? What time? Does. Does, 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 does. it start? Okay. Mm -hmm. It starts. Sonia, complete. It is start at 9 o'clock. 9 a.m. Okay, perfect. Number two, yeah. please. Jessica and Ileana. Um, let me for the meeting. Meeting on Wednesday. Really? What time does here, here. it start? Hmm? The second conversation. Great. Great. What? What time? Auxiliary what, verb. What time does? No. What time do you arrive? Okay. I arrive at a quarter past 8 a.m., right? Mm -hmm. Number three. Let's see, Gabriela, number three. In Caesar. 
Tomorrow I have to go to the tomorrow I have to go to the photocopy photocopy center. Uh, me too. Yo también. Me too. Where? What time? Me too. What time again? Auxiliary. So what do you think? What time? Do or does? Do. Photocopy center. Only one building. Photocopy das. center. Does. Does. Does, right? What time does the photocopy center open? <sighs> it opens. Uh, it's open at 10. Two. Two, 10 to six. Seven. 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 That's uh -huh. seven. It, uh -huh. it opens at 10 to 7. Yeah, to seven. Four. Um, let's see. Karen and Wilfredo. Okay. Wendy, do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yes, but I, I don't know. I don't write the answer. Time what time to? do? Huh? What time do? Oh, okay. The restaurant close here. Oh, around 7.25 p.m. Okay, thank you. Virginia, number five. And let's see who else. Mirna, okay. Okay. Las cinco. Uh -huh. Amanda has to take some reports to many reports. 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 Reports, uh -huh. reports to many departments. On Monday. Virginia? Is Virginia here? Yes. Oh, yes. Virginia, please answer. B. And what I do, they up. open. Uh huh. They open. They uh, oh, they open around seven thirty. Sorry, or for 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 seven years. Okay, eight oh five. Eight or oh, five. Oh, five or five past eight. Eight. So here you have the answer. Seven thirty. Siete y media. O empezamos mencionando la media hora. Half media hora. Half uh, an hour. Past seven. También también podrían decirlo así. Half an hour. Half an hour. Pasen, solamente mencionamos la, eh, la mitad, ¿verdad? Half. Half, half past seven. Or you may say half an hour. Half past seven, eight or five, las ocho y cinco, o cinco pasadas las ocho. Okay. Well, we're going to stop in here. And, well, if you haven't finished the rest of the activities, Okay, we're going to finish with this one. Solamente terminamos este otro ejercicio. And then we leave. Complete the email using prepositions of time. Compare answer with the classmate. So we have from, into, and the subject. We have fati2018 at email.com to Mary um, underscore two at email.com. 
new products presentation. Let's see, who can help me with this one? Hello, Fatima, are you busy? Preposition, in, on, or at? On. On. On, okay. Monday afternoon. Continue, read the, the sentence and the question, Karen. Until the next one, until here. Do you know about the new product that the company launches? There is a presentation about it and it sounds very interesting. It's a start at 6.30. Okay, continue please, Gaby. I work until 5. Uh, 45. 45, but I meet, but I can meet you at six o'clock. Okay. On the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. What do you what do you think? Okay, thank you. Continue, please, Julio Cesar. Here another presentation. Would it will be and at March. At March. At March. In March. March. In, in, in March. March. In March. In March. Continue, on Sita. Sunday. And Sunday. On Sunday. And Sunday. Sunday. And, and I can the day. Mm -hmm. And I can't that day. Let me know. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. So I think that we cover most of the activities. And I leave you the rest up to you. So please work on that. Let's see. Um, I'm going to pass the attendance list and then you're free to go and sleep. Let's see. Um, let's start with you, Eduardo Antonio Espino Mejia. Hello, Eduardo Antonio Espino Mejia. Okay. Gabriela Maria Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you. Gerson Romel Vázquez Díaz. Ileana Estela Serrano de Candelario. Present. Thank you, Ileana. Isaías Santana González. Present. Thank you. Jessica Yvette Tiliano Sarabia. Present. Thank you, Jessica. José Eduardo Valdez Martínez. Jose Eduardo Valdez Martínez. Present. Thank you, Jose. Julio César Fabián Zelaya. Present, teacher. Thank you, Julio. Karen Leticia León Rivera. Present, teacher. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Luis Alberto Cruz. Present. Thank you, Luis. María Elena González García. Mirna Janet Saldaña de Espinosa. Present. Thank you, Mirna. Omar Alexander Palacio Rivera. Thank you, Omar. Paula Jiménez Cornejo Álvarez. Sonia Marisela Tejada Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you, Sonia. Virginia del Carmen Vázquez Ventura. Present teacher. Thank you, Virginia. Wilfredo Armando Rosales Torres. Present teacher. Thank you, guys. So that's all for today. I'll be waiting for you until tomorrow. Ok, lo espero mañana chicos a las 8. Si hay alguna pregunta, si queda. Bueno, hoy continuamos con Wilfredo y pues si hay alguna otra duda también que sea alguien más, ¿verdad? No hay problema. Okay. Thank you guys. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. And don't forget tomorrow. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Okay, bien, uh, Wilfredo, any question about any topic that you would like to discuss? Sí, eh, tengo, no recuerdo, en la clase que no estuve, que cuando al verbo le agrega eh, S, like, like. Ah, bye, ahorita, ahorita vamos a eso. Porque le dije que iba a la clase, pero ya, no me queda no, otro. No, no, no le queda bien. Ahorita vamos a ver, lo vamos a... Mostrar en pantalla unos segundos. Es bastante similar. Estuvo en la clase cuando vimos los sustantivos. 
la regla, es uh -huh. como formar los plurales singulares. Sí, eso sí. No es como formar los plurales. Son bastante parecidas las reglas de, de, de spell, spelling. Ahí. So let me see. Ok. No, acá está Mirna también. Perfecto, Mirna. Sí. sí. Bueno. Solamente vamos a, a, primero vamos con Wilfred, ya después vamos con la siguiente pregunta. Pero si está relacionado, no sé. No, si... no, yo igual solo para... Ah, vaya, vale, perfecto, me parece bien. Uh -huh. Veamos, acá tenemos las reglas. Esto es en presente simple. Simple present tense, third person, spelling rules for verbs. Las reglas de... Escritura para los verbos. Entonces tenemos acá las reglas. Eh, we have four rules. Add is to basic form of the verb. Entonces para la mayoría de los verbos, la regla básica es agregarle S. Work works. Run runs. Pero las, al, hay algunos verbos que tienen ciertas terminaciones. Por ejemplo, un verbo que termine en SH, CH, WS o... X o doble Z ahí, le vamos a agregar S. Watch termina en CH, ¿verdad? Watches. Go. Goes. Ajá, y tenemos este caso con, con este verbo, es un verbo irregular. Go, goes. Entonces es de memorizarlo, ¿verdad? Es el mismo caso del verbo tener, ¿verdad? Yo digo have. Ajá, has, ¿verdad? Es un verbo irregular ahí. También tendríamos el otro verbo, este, do, das, ¿verdad? Ahí tenemos la tercera, la forma para tercera persona, con estos tres verbos, ¿verdad? Pero, este no, estos no entran en esta categoría, esto digamos que tenemos que memorizarlo. Have, has, she has a book, he does exercise, he has a ball, he does um, yoga, for example. Él hace yoga, ella tiene una pelota, él tiene una pelota. He goes to the park, él va al parque. Vaya, pero en, en, ya volviendo acá, si el verbo tiene esa terminación, usted le va a agregar ES al verbo. Esto va a pasar con, veamos, con tercera persona. Third person. Esto es lo que means. yo voy a preguntar, que cuando es que le digo pa. Entonces es, es lo mismo como que sí, 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 como cuando yo le agrego el da. Voy a agregar el. el, el Ajá, para la, eso sería para las oraciones negativas o para las preguntas, que, donde utilizamos el verbo auxiliar, ¿verdad? Do o das. Creo que a eso se está refiriendo. El do. Ajá, los auxiliares, los verbos auxiliares los vamos a utilizar en preguntas. El do, el perdón, das, con he, she, it. Por ejemplo. Veamos acá. Does he play with you? Juega contigo. Does he play with you? Juega contigo. Does he play with you? Esto sería en cuanto a las preguntas. En el caso de las preguntas, el verbo ya no se cambia. El verbo se mantiene de, de su misma manera. Simplemente que ahí estamos utilizando un verbo auxiliar para formular la pregunta. Tendríamos otra aquí. Does she listen to music? Entonces aquí, nótese que aquí ya no va a cambiar usted el verbo. Lo que sí necesita es utilizar un verbo auxiliar. Que es el do o el das, ¿verdad? Dependiendo qué, eh, qué pronombre esté utilizando. Do you walk, por ejemplo? Do you walk to school? Caminas al trabajo, pero acá utilizo do, ¿verdad? Es que eso va a depender del, del pronombre. Creo que a eso se refería, ¿verdad? Sí. 
they. Are you, we, they. Con ella vamos a utilizar do. Does, con he, she, it. Pero esto sería para las preguntas o sería también para las oraciones negativas. ¿Cuál era la estructura de las oraciones negativas? Subject, auxiliary, subject, subject, complemento, uh -huh. Auxil verbo auxiliar, duo das, y más la negación. Ajá, nos falta la negación todavía. Y, y luego viene un verbo. Un verbo más un complemento. Entonces diríamos, I do not play soccer. Yo no juego fútbol. Ahora con tercera persona. She does not play soccer. Ok. La pregunta esta venía porque si yo voy a ocupar este cambio. Go, go. No. No. No, se escucha un poquito lejos, no sé si el, el micrófono, pero se me repite ahí. La, la, la pregunta de, del DAS venía por, por si a la hora de ocupar el DAS es porque va, voy a ocupar estos cambios, de agregarle este o es. Este? No, no, con las preguntas y con las oraciones negativas no modificamos los verbos, eso solo lo va a hacer en una oración afirmativa. Presente. Ajá, en presente simple. Solo sería en ese Ajá. caso, en una oración afirmativa, en presente simple, cuando usted va agregando todos estos cambios a los verbos. Cuando usted hace una pregunta, por ejemplo, esta que tenemos aquí, Does he play with you? Bueno, la estructura sería el verbo auxiliar, después el sujeto, después el verbo en la forma base. Es decir, que no le vamos a hacer ningún cambio. No le va a agregar ese, ese, no, nada de eso. El verbo iría tal cual, ¿verdad? Does he play with you? Cuando se hace la pregunta. Ajá, cuando son preguntas o cuando es una oración negativa, no modificamos el verbo, aunque sea tercera persona. Lo que sí debemos de tener eh, cuidado es de utilizar el auxiliar correcto. Entonces, mm. por eso les ponía acá yo el das, lo va a utilizar con he, she, it. El do con are you we day. Um, uh -huh. Ejemplo, do you walk to school? Esto nada más tienen que tener en mente, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es el auxiliar que debo de utilizar? Das para tercera persona y do para, eh, para estos otros pronombres. Entonces, esta sería tercera persona y singular, ¿verdad? He, she, it. Does he play? Y veamos el verbo, se mantiene igual. Does she live? Ajá. En la respuesta de do you walk to school, sí sería I walk to school. I walk. I do, I walk. No. Ah, ok, muy bien. La, estas recuerden que son yes, no questions. Vamos ah. a tapar un poquito acá. Vaya, tenemos acá, voy a poner la estructura también de las preguntas. El verbo auxiliar. Auxiliary verb do o das más el subject más el, el verbo ¿no? y el question mark. Does he play with you? Does she listen to music? La respuesta es una, pregun es una pregunta cerrada, es una yes no question. Entonces quiere decir que usted va a contestar con un sí o con un no. Pero usted puede darme más información. Does he play with you? Yes. He does. Ajá, muy bien. Does she listen to music? Yes. She does. Entonces hay coherencia también acá, ¿verdad? En la respuesta corta. Eso se llaman respuestas cortas. Yes, he does. Yes, she does. ¿Podría contestarme solamente con un yes? Sí, también. ¿O podría contestarme con un no? También. Uh, vaya, vamos a poner el caso aquí, el, el ejemplo negativo. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Y acá, no siempre las personas le van a contestar con yes, he does, o no, she doesn't. Entonces probablemente solo le digan un yes o un no. Y acá, usted puede agregar más información. 
Entonces, no lo estoy... Eh, son yes, no questions. La primera respuesta que me van a dar es un sí o es un no. Pero yo puedo proveer más información ya formulando una oración adicional, ¿verdad? Uh, does he play with you? Yes. He plays with me. A ver acá. Does she listen to music? No. He doesn't listen to music. Ah, perdón. Ahí era she, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí. No, she doesn't listen to music. Vamos a ver, preguntas hasta ahí. No, it's great. Uh -huh. Estamos bien, estamos bien, Wilfred. Sí. Yes. Ok, perfecto. Una oración, sí, ya, ya entendí que es, tiene que ser una oración simple, bueno, presente simple, que no sea pregunta, que no sea negación. Uh -huh. Que no sea pregunta o negación. Entonces ahí es donde hacen los cambios con con los, las reglas de spelling, las reglas de, de escritura. Right. Y acá, nada más eh, tener en cuenta, eso, permítanme que se me, right, se me traba ahí la compra. Entonces, nada más tomar en, tomar en cuenta esa estructura, ¿verdad? Para las preguntas, y para las oraciones negativas, que eh, vamos a utilizar esos verbos auxiliares. Y el verbo no cambia. Y eso. ¿Puedo borrar acá? Me avisan. Si no, tómalo una foto. Sí. sí. No, ya lo escribí. Ah, ok. Perfecto. Vaya. Ahora que ya vimos eso, volvemos acá. Las reglas, eh, vaya. Si el verbo termina en SH, CH, lo que comentábamos, le vamos a agregar S. Entonces aquí serían affirmative statements. Oraciones o enunciados afirmativos. O Entonces, sea, aquí es donde, donde ocurre eso. The person, he, she, it. Recuerden que ponemos los pronombres he, she, it, pero ahí puede ser el María, Wilfredo, Karen, Luis, eh, Gabriela, eh, Omar. Bye. Y acá tenemos la tercera regla. Consonant plus Y, change Y to I, E, S. Cuando un verbo termina en una consonante más Y, Vamos a modificar y vamos a, vamos a cambiar esa Y por una I. Y le agregamos el ES, ¿verdad? El verbo de estudiar termina en Y. Consonante Y. Study. Studies. Ajá, y se menciona lo de la consonante porque tenemos la otra regla que está aquí abajo, la 4. Donde un verbo termina en una vocal y una Y. Vowel plus Y add S. Veamos la diferencia acá, consonante Y, y acá vocal Y. Entonces, cuando es consonante Y, yo voy a modificar este Y por I, por una I, en inglés, ¿verdad? I, y le agrego IS. Pero si mi verbo termina en vocal Y, solo agrego la S. Play, place, stay, stays. Jugar o eh, estar, ¿verdad? Quedarse, stay. Y lo que les mencionaba acá también, el verbo irregular tener, have, has, ¿verdad? I have a car, you have a car, we have a car, and they have a car. He has a car, he has a baby, she has a baby, and it has a baby. Ok, ¿vamos bien hasta ahí? Sí, sí, sí. Ok, entonces ahorita vamos a hacer algunos ejemplos. Y por ahí terminamos. Creo. Veamos, by, termina en... Vocal. Y. Ajá, vocal Y. By, buys, ¿verdad? Do, el verbo do. Das. Muy bien, drive. Termina, drives. Termina en vocal. Termina en vocal, agregamos ese nada más. Si el verbo, no, digamos, si nuestro verbo, volvemos a la regla 1, agregamos ese a la forma básica del verbo. Entonces, ¿Qué quiere decir ahí? Si no aplica ninguna de esas reglas anteriores, la 2, la 3, la 4 o la 5, solo no, la agregamos a ese, ¿verdad? Aunque este, este verbo tiene que, tiene que terminar en vocal, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí solamente le agregamos a ese. Get. Get. Gets. Go. Goes. Goes. Go. Uh -huh. Goes. Fix termina en X. Miren. X. Ajá, le agrego ES. 
Veamos aquí está aquí en la regla. Sí, acá Ajá. está. Miren. Termina en X. Fixes. Este es reparar. ¿no? Get, obtener. Pay. Termina. Pay. Uh -huh. Ay, vocal, vocal, y, vocal Y. ¿ah? Right. Vocal Y. Right. Right. Vamos, termina en vocal. S. Say. Vocal Y. Say. Seis. Ajá, decir, el verbo decir. Sentarse. Ninguna, ¿verdad? Solo le agrego la S. Sits. Speak. 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 Speaks. No, sigue no, no, las reglas anteriores. Entonces solo le agrego eso. Take. Take. Uh -huh. Termina en vocal. Agregamos ese. Worry. Termina Worry. en consonante Y. Yes. 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 Perfecto. Con el verbo venir. Comes, ¿verdad? Termina en vocal. Agregamos ese. Drink. Un consonante. Drinks. Ajá, vaya, pero acá, eso de la consonante solamente es, eh, es la regla esta, ¿verdad? Solamente es consonante más Y. Si el verbo termina ah, en ajá. consonante Y, ajá, porque no, no son todos, solamente los ajá. que terminan en cualquier consonante Y, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. O si terminan en vocal Y. Esas dos. Esos dos hay que tener en mente. De ahí los demás. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, este de drink. Eso ya no. Ahí solo le vamos uh -huh. agregando eso. Eat. Eats. 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 Give. Gives. 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 Have. Has. Has. Make. Make. Makes. Make. Perfect. Read. Read. Reads, ajá, solo agrego ese. Run. Run. Runs. Sing. Mm -hmm. Cantar. Sings. Miren, no siguen las reglas que estamos viendo anteriormente. Sleep, tampoco. Sleeps. Swim. Swim. Swims. Ahí estamos. Teach. Termina en CH. Veamos, termina en CH. Acá. Le vamos a agregar este. Es, muy bien. Teaches. Teaches. Study, study. Studies. Y ahí tenemos. Entonces, ejemplos serían. Vamos a ver, dame algunos ejemplos con esos verbos que ya tenemos, utilizando tercera persona. Mary. Buy a new car. Buys a new car. Otro, más ejemplos. Julio, ajá, Julio. Vale. Elija uh, cualquiera de Julio, esos. Julio does homework. Ok, Julio does his homework. Ajá, hace su, recordemos poner el posesivo. ¿Qué hace? Su tarea. Julio does his homework. ¿Qué más? Vamos a otra oración. Eh, Santiago drinks uh, water, chocolate, chocolate, water. Y acá, ¿cómo me quedaría? I, uh, I I study English, only study. I study English, ok. Muy bien. Ahí. Okay. Solo con tercera persona. You. You swim in the pool. You swim in the pool. Entonces ahí ya no vamos haciendo cambio, ¿verdad? Solamente es con he, she, it. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver. The dog. Dog, say, ese sí, porque el perro es hip. No. <ríe> barks, ajá, barks. Dog barks, ladra, barks. Pero park. el perro no, es hip, va, como que estamos hablando de alguna cosa. Eat, correcto. Por, recuerde que es eat, ¿verdad? Uno, singular, the dog. Es como que diga aquí, Firulais. Firulais, it's 
pizza. It lies its pizza. Estoy hablando de it, ¿verdad? An animal. O puede ser un objeto, ¿verdad? Singular. Un lugar, por ejemplo, podríamos decir... Eh, let's say Cuscatlan Park. El parque Cuscatlan, Cuscatlan Park. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. I, have no, I have no verb for this one. Cuscatlan Park has, veamos, ahí tenemos el verbo tener, has amazing plants. Tiene plantas asombrosas, maravillosas. ¿eh? Entonces ahí podemos utilizar el verbo tener, has plants. Pero no puedo decir que duerme, ni ninguno de los otros verbos. <ríe> ok. ¿Cómo vamos hasta aquí? Bien, ¿Sí? Hoy bien. Sí. Ok, perfecto. Veamos, ¿hay alguna otra pregunta, chicos? No, de mi parte no. Solamente. Ok, y no sé si tiene una pregunta, Mirna. No. No. no ok, gracias. entonces estamos bien. Nada más, si les hace falta algo de la plataforma, eh, trabajémoslo. Para que ya vayamos. Bueno. Uh -huh. Vamos avanzando gracias. poco a poco. En algún right. Right. Okay, thank you guys. See you tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye-bye.